Um, Liam, at half time, did you see a draw coming? No, complete control. Uh, give a poor, poor goal away from a set play uh, where there's no pressure and we panic and then they score and then complete dominance for a half. Uh, brilliant play, should score more goals. And then they changed their shape and then we stopped doing what we did in the first half, which was play our football which is dominate possession. We started panicking a little bit, kicking balls forward, and that's the type of game that they want. And they're better, they're better at that long ball stuff than, than we are at playing. So we have to make it our game. Um, and then because they get the upper hand second half, we have to change the shape a little bit just to stay in the, not stay in the game, but just to stem the flow. And then once we did that and we got back to playing football, we get into the final third numerous times, just don't quite take advantage. So a lot for us to work on, but a lot of good. But what my biggest message to the players is, is keep believing in what we're doing. Mm. Keep believing. Don't just because we're two one up, go and get the third and the fourth one. Because to be fair, before the, before half time, we should have been three or four one up. Yeah. Um, from that, then obviously Gary Rowett made two changes at half time. How significant do you feel they were in the grand scheme of things? Well, they were significant in terms of they get a draw out of a game when we had complete control. But I don't think the change of shape. The change of shape didn't change. It was our our lack of adaptation as a group. I can't. I just said to the I can't make the adaption all the time. They have to see the space, but we have to keep playing our way. Once some of our build-up stuff is top to get into the final third and it makes the opposition run, when we started going long too early, that's when they get back in the game. So a lot for us to learn, but a lot of real positive things as well. I think the, the manner of the goals as well, Jaden was superb in that. Yeah, that's time. why we brought him to the club, outstanding. You know, and they had to change, they changed the player that they had on him um, and he's going to get better and better. And, and to be honest to Jaden, he's got I'm really proud of him. He's got something happening um, at home, which isn't easy for him. So for him to come and perform the way he did here, it, is a, he's a top lad and I'm so delighted he's at the club. And it's great accolade for him that he's going to represent yeah. his country Brilliant. as well. Brilliant. Deserves it, um, you know, to represent your country at any level. Um, it's great, obviously, I'm an Englishman and to have two of our players and Tyler Morton's on standby as well, it shows that the club's growing, you know, it's great. So Liam's there, Jaden's there. Hopefully they stay they stay nice and fit for us when we get back. But um, but yeah, they, they've made a really, both of them made a really, really good start and Tyler as well. Yeah, just during the game, I noticed Greg was stripped ready to come on at one point. Yeah. Can I just ask why he changed Ch your mind? Right, so there was a flow of the game uh, and then we actually took possession again because we couldn't, we didn't have enough possession. Mm. And then we had a passage where we actually kept the ball. So at the moment that Docs was going to come on, I felt Adama was better in the moment. So they did quick snap shot to decisions that I have to make um, and, and it, sometimes the game can change, the flow of the game can change off of one moment and the game flow changed in that moment so I didn't make that change. So with two weeks off now it's that same question you always get, does the international break come at the right time for certain no, reasons? I want more games, I, I would rather play and stay in a rhythm and stay in a flow but you know it's, it's part, of, part of the job and it's part of being a championship club and a Premier League club as well so for me a lot of assessments to do, a lot of work, uh, the players are going to do a lot of homework, we're going to be doing a lot of video work um, but overall oh, we should have more points. We should, from our performances, we should have more points. And that's the most frustrating thing, uh, what we spoke about as a group after the game, is that we're, ve we're still, what are we, a point outside of the playoff 17 from 11. We should have 20. And 20 is a really, really good return, at least. Um, Plymouth here, and that's their, uh, Bristol at home when we're, we're a goal up. A lot for us to improve on, but at the same time, a really, really solid foundation to improve.